in all the rich diversity of culture that this magnificent weekend brings, that in the end, you are investing in and giving life. Each year in May, for the Life Ball Weekend, the city of Vienna devotes itself to the symbol of the Red Ribbon. Not only the main political buildings hoist the flag of solidarity with those affected by HIV, but also the most prestigious locations open their doors in support of the Life Ball. The arrival of the first guests kickstarts the charitable events of the Life Ball Weekend. The Red Ribbon Celebration Concert, presented by Novomatic, took place in the Vienna Burke Theatre for the third time. For holders of donor boxes, the evening began with an exclusive reception in the Liechtenstein City Palace. Among the guests attending was also President Bill Clinton, whose AIDS organization has a long-standing partnership with the Life Ball. And I thank you for it. Thank you very much. After the reception, great names of the opera and acting world presented a united front at the Red Ribbon Celebration Concert under its motto, United in Difference. Their voluntary commitment lent a unique voice to the message for more acceptance. Classical pieces paired with readings on topics such as hope and humanity shaped the artistic concept. The content, as well as the setting of the stage, presented a flavor of things to come at the Life Ball and its theme, the Garden of Earthly Delights. So the nightingale pressed closer, and the thorn touched her heart, and a fierce pang of pain shot through her. Bitter, bitter was the pain, and wilder and wilder grew her song, for she sang of love, love that is perfected by death, and of love that does not die in the tomb. <laughs> Aber wo der Garten des Paradieses zu finden sei, davon stand kein Wort darin. Und der, gerade der, war es, an welchen er am meisten dachte. The net proceeds of the concert went to the Clinton Health Access Initiative, and help towards the control of mother-to-child transmission of HIV. The aim is to enable a healthy start in life for as many children as possible. With the purchase of a ticket, each concert goer contributed towards an AIDS-free generation. If you ever visit that island, afterwards you'll never be afraid of anything for the rest of your life. If it's true that I can wish for whatever I want most, then I wish that I could go there. The feminine side of HIV and AIDS was the focus of an event which premiered in 2014, the First Ladies Luncheon. The event, which is traditionally held during the UN General Assembly in New York, took place on European soil for the first time during the Life Ball Weekend. Under the patronage of Austria's First Lady, Margaret Fischer, Leading ladies from the fields of politics, business, fashion, and art came together at the Belvedere Palace for a culturally inspired event. In cooperation with the Global Fund, this event offered networking at the highest level, and all for the benefit of one central cause, to create more awareness of the global effect of HIV on women. Current challenges facing the international AIDS community were the focus of the AIDS Solidarity Gala presented by Chapar at the Vienna Hofburg. 
Representatives of AMFAR, the Clinton Health Access Initiative, the Global Fund and the MTV Staying Alive Foundation, as well as opinion leaders and ambassadors of goodwill gathered together in cooperation with UN AIDS. The gala banquet was held under the patronage of the President of Austria, Heinz Fischer, and was hosted by Franca Zuzzani, the chief editor of Vogue Italia. A live auction brought in important financial resources for AIDS relief projects. Amongst others, a specially created diamond necklace by Chapar and an Audi S1 designed by David LaChapelle were auctioned. The income raised by each event added to the net profit of the Lifeball 2014. The funds support sustainable projects which focus on direct aid or HIV prevention, thus contributing to the achievement of the UN Millennium Development Goal to stop the spread of HIV by 2015.